guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. Today we are gonna look at my very first order from May Designs. I have never ordered from May Designs before. They were having a 40% off sale off all their notebooks. And so I figured it was the best time to take advantage, order two little notebooks and try them out. So my one hesitation is their personalization is quite a lot and we'll talk about that. Like just to put my initials on the cover or my name was five extra dollars on the cover of these little notebooks. And that was just crazy considering I was getting them for 40% off. So I did not get any personalization. Also their paperweight, which they told me cause I had to ask. Um, they came back on Instagram and told me their paperweight was, oh, I'm trying to remember. I think it was 70 pound. No, it was 60 pound. It was 60 pound. I will put it here in the video if I'm wrong. Um, and so I was like, hmm. but so many people use and love their A5 notebooks. So at 40% off, I decided to try them mainly because there was a llama one and my youngest son is loving llamas and I knew he would like a llama notebook. And so I thought with the 40% off, we would go ahead and try it and I could let you guys know how I felt about it. So they come in this really nice envelope. I like it. If you have little notebooks, I'm sure if you have a bigger order, it's going to come in something bigger. But yeah, sorry, I should have had it turned to this side the whole time that I was talking. Um, it comes in this beautiful envelope, which I really like and I think is awesome packaging. And they have some really amazing covers you can choose from. I'm gonna show you how they come. So like I said, I just ordered two A5 sized notebooks. And I will put in here the normal price of them because I cannot remember the normal pricing. I'm thinking, uh, yeah, I don't even know, so I'm not gonna say it. I thought they were around $14 each normally, but I got them for 40% off. So they come in this little package. If you're giving them as a gift, that's nice. And with a little card inside. And so that makes it a nice thing if you're ordering a personalized gift for someone. In that case, I really think it's worth it to put the personalization on, of course. So that makes it really cool to be able to do gifting. And also because they have so many different layouts, you can choose inside and we'll talk about that. So it's a great place to get a gift, I think, because of the personalization you can add. And if you sent it as a gift straight to someone's house and it came in this, I mean, it feels like a present coming. So it's something kind of fun and you could personalize your little notebook. So that's fun. It's a great gift idea, I think. Or for teachers, the end of the school year um, or Christmas. Okay, so the backs of their notebooks have their little May designs written on there. Their notebooks have a texture to them. I'm hoping that that can show up in the video. I'm not sure if it can. It's a, it's a texture and they're not slick. So maybe this one can show up better. This is my son's llama notebook. So it's almost a texture of there's a whole bunch of tiny holes in there. Yeah, I think you can see that. So, and that's what the back looks like. Now, if you get a personalization, there are different ways you can choose it. You can put it like a square, a circle. There's all different choices for the personalization, but it is $5 added on to each notebook for any personalization. Now the insides, let's talk about that. There's many choices and I did do a pen test in mine. You can write in your nameplate contact information right there. Um, my only thing about these covers is I'm just not sure how they'll hold up. They're not super thick and because they don't have the feel of something that can withstand water. So I will say right off, they have tons of fun designs, but I don't see myself ordering from them again over like, I like my Inkwell Press journals better. Um, I like the Ashley Shelley notebooks. They just feel like they hold up better. I'm not sure how these will hold up. And I think for that, they're priced quite a lot. For a gift, I would buy them and personalize them for sure. It's a really fun thing. But for myself, I don't think it's something I'm going to rebuy for myself unless there was a huge sale and I needed something. Okay, so that's my take on it. My son, I just got him lined pages. And like I said, it's only 60 pound paper. So it's not that thick. It's really not. The paper doesn't feel like anything special. It feels just fine. But it doesn't feel like anything special. And it doesn't feel that thick. 
and I'll show you what the pen looks like it on in, in my notebook. But that is your back and your front. So their main draw, I think, is their extensive amount of cover choices and the fact that you can personalize them and the fact that there are so many different options for the inside to choose from. Besides, you can get it blank, dot grid, lined, squared, of course, all those normal cho choices. But then let's look at mine. There are calendars. You can get calendars. You can get then all these other productivity list type layouts. You can get undated, um, like calendar stuff. You can get dated. So there's just, there's a lot of different stuff you can get. That's what my cover looks like laid all the way out. I will say online, it looked even brighter and cooler, if I may say. It's pretty in person. It's just not quite as saturated and cool looking as it was online. And these are sewn notebooks. I don't know if I mentioned that, which I do love sewn notebooks. And they seem well made in that way, but I haven't used them. And like I said, the cover seems more flimsy than any of my other covers and doesn't feel like waterproof. So I bought something for the inside called the Gratitude First Daily Journal. And the reason I got this one, I thought I would just use it for my daily lists. And I thought I may not even use it for gratitude. That might be like my top five things I have to get done that day. So I might try this for daily planning for a little while. You know, you guys know how I change out my daily planning quite a bit to test different things out and tell you guys about it. But I thought I would use those. I know not the way they intended, um, but not as my five gratitudes for the day, but just my top five things to get done since I always like a few things to stand out and focus on and then just my other list or note for the day. And I like these divided up also as like things for the day. So this might be the rest of my list for the day and then this might just be extra notes. So I kind of really liked the layout of it, this. They have a lot of other productivity, journal, different layouts to choose from, calendar layouts to choose from, planners to choose from. Like I said, dated and undated all in these A5 size notebooks, which you, of course, they sell um, like a little portfolios, like leather notebooks for, and many other companies sell those too, obviously. Uh, for they, they sell the traveler's notebooks, which you can slip these in. All your A5 notebooks, however many you want to have in a row. So I love all the different layout choices they have. It's really amazing. I just wish their paper was a thicker paper and that their cover was more substantial. That's what I wish. For the price, I just, I really think that it should be that way. So I will show you my pen test. And anyway, if you're new to May Designs, it is fun just to go see all the different options they have for, for the inside layouts. That is really fun for me to see the different options they have for inside layouts. If I had an endless amount of money, I would have completely bought like every single planner inside layout and productivity inside layout that they offered to be able to show you guys. That would be so fun. I would love to do that. Anyway, here are all the main pens that I usually use and I just wrote them on the last page and here's what they look like on the paper. So there is no bleed through. There is some ghosting, but it's not terrible for the paperweight. And um, I was actually surprised that it handled the pen rather well. And so I will be giving updates on this on Instagram as I play with it for my daily planning, because that is what I bought to play with it for. But I can see how it would make a great journal also. I just have enough journals going on in my life this year. Um, and you can see that in my quarterly journaling update videos, which I have a playlist of, where I talk all about how my journaling is going for the year and what I'm using. But if you wanted to list your five gratitudes every day and then make your daily list, it would also work great as that. I think it would also work great just as a journal. You can list five gratitudes for the day and then just write a little bit about your day and maybe what happened that day. I don't know. So... Anyway, there's lots of different ways you could use this particular layout, but I will keep you updated on Instagram as to how it does with ink and how I like it just planning for daily planning since um, you guys know I like to switch that up and 
and report on my daily planning changes since my weekly planning always pretty much stays the same in my urine condren. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you use May Designs since I'm new to them, I would absolutely love to hear your testimonials down below as to how your notebooks have held up with them. What are your favorite products from them? What are your favorite inside layouts from them? And yeah, I'd love to know how you like their paper and any info you want to give me on them. I would love to hear if you have been a user of May Designs. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Happy planning and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.